going on, everyone? <clears throat> Faisal Kamisa here with you. Haven't done one of these in a while. Not talk about sports. I literally do that every single day. Hashtag humble brag. But talk about a game. There was a point where I used to make videos after every basketball game and react because they deserved reaction. Now, I literally spent the last 40 minutes walking home, listening to Justin Bieber. No, not because of a basketball game. I literally do that every night. But... This game, we need to talk about this game, okay? There's a lot of things going on, a lot of things being said, uh, and I just feel like words need to get out. You know, my eyebrows are dirty straight up, but it's all good. <sighs> where do we start? I, I really don't know where to start, so let's go right to that fourth quarter. Yes, they gave up 44 points. People are now going to blame it on lack of experience, but no, that is wrong. I'm here to dispel some myth. Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett. On the bench, okay, they're being beat by the likes of Mirza Taletovic, Andre Blash, and of course Joe Johnson, who we know is one of those vets and one of those streaky shooters that certainly had that streak going in that fourth quarter. So no, it was not the experience factor um, that, that led to that. Okay, There's just one of those experiences that really doesn't have an explanation. The Raptors were up 26 points. We thought their losing big lead days were done with the game at the Oracle against Golden State when they lost 27 points. They lost a 27-point lead, excuse me, uh, and caused the most followers to, uh, to my Twitter account ever because I tweeted an awesome picture, um, and it's not about that. Uh, they, they, I can't even speak right now. I'm so all over the place. I'm still wearing my clothes from today because YOLO. Um, looks good, actually. Um, the Raptors, though, they didn't look good at the end. Now, I, you know, for a lot of that game, you thought, okay, big lead, Going to Brooklyn, close this out on Friday. How do you feel now? Honestly, I don't know uh, from an impartial standpoint or from someone that, you know, is a fan, how you feel going into that Friday game in Brooklyn. Would it be cool to see a Game 7 in Toronto? Hell yes. Do you want one as a Raptors fan? Hell no. You want this series done on Friday, but the way this team closed out, mm, I don't know what you expect. I really don't know what you see. Now, Toronto, a little bit lucky, of course. They probably should have lost this game, given how that last sequence went. Andre Blatch, of course, missed the free throw. Sean Livingston makes a crazy play to grab a rebound. He does get fouled. Let's not dispel that. DeRozan certainly fouled him. And then, of course, the backcourt craziness. JV, leave the ball. Just leave the ball. You don't need, you don't need to tap. Just leave it. Just absolutely leave it. Okay? Uh, also, pay Kyle Lowry. Hey, Kyle Lowry, all the money. I'll start a Kickstarter fund right now to get him to stay in Toronto. That guy's got the balls of, uh, I don't know. I don't even know a good metaphor right now. That's how ridiculous this is. But, man, those are, uh, yeah, no, that guy made some plays again today. Yeah. I don't know. Drake was in the house. 50 Cent was in the house, a.k.a. Ferrari. Ferrari F50. The Raptors ran out of gas. In what looked like a well-oiled Ferrari for most of that game. But honestly, um, fans probably left that game with a lot of lint to have to roll off their shirts or their pants because that was a stressful end. Um, but how do you feel? Honestly, Toronto fans, how do you feel? Do you feel good that the team won? Or you're now looking at the negatives that caused a near 26-point collapse. In fact, they did collapse. The game was tied at 101. Um, before Toronto ultimately sealed it with a couple big shots and some free throws. But, you know, tell me how you feel. Would you rather, uh, you know, are you happy with this team pulling out a win like this? Let's, and also, let's, let's just say this. This is the biggest win in Raptors franchise history, okay? I don't, I don't care about the first round stuff from before. They're holding a lead in the best of seven series for the first time since 2001. A playoff series, mind you. They've never won a best of seven series as a franchise. Remember the first couple series wins? Those were best of fives, okay? Uh, but would you rather this team have, you know, coasted with that big blowout, or is this a good uh, thing, this lead blown and now this uh, win despite having blown said lead? Is this a positive going into Friday's game against Brooklyn? You can let me know on Twitter, at Faisal Camisa. Leave a comment in this video or on Facebook if I post this. I don't even know what's going on. Honestly, I'm all over the place right now. I'm going to go listen to some Drake and cry and go to bed. Peace.